Alright, welcome guys to the Slowpoke. Well, now, when it comes to competitive decks, okay, the deck I like to play at the minute is ADP. Uh, I like ADP, I'm a bit of a scoreboard like that, I guess. But I also like greens as well. Green decks are probably my favourite to play. So, what do you think would happen if you put them together? Hey guys, just before we get into the video, if you're part of the 60% of people that watch these videos and aren't subscribed, come on now, put a new TCG video out every day, okay? So do us a favour and hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the Slowpoke world, guys. And like I said today, I like Green's decks, I like ADP. Let's put them together and have a look. Now, I'm not going to claim all the credit here. I did see um, Playscape Games did like a quick stream about it. I watched a little bit of that. So if you want to see like a big stream for like two hours. So if you want to take a big stream, lots of gameplay of this deck and maybe a bit more in-depth knowledge about it, feel free to go check them out. But um, here I am, added a couple changes to the list, a few changes, played a few games, and let me tell you, I'm actually a little bit of a fan of this deck, let me tell you. So, we want to know ADP there are now. Basic Pokemon, uh, 280 HP, two attacks, and we'll be using them both. <laughs> uh, Ultimate Ray for Water, uh, Metal Colorless, you do 150 damage, search your deck for three basic energy, attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. So, what's kind of nice about Ultimate Ray, in the sense that it sets up all your attackers, right? Once you get the first Ultimate Ray, it sets up the bench Ultimate Ray, and then you, and then, you then that's pretty much what you need. So, um, that's pretty cool. 150 damage is a little bit low, but after our creation, we got up to 180, and that's a lot better of a number base. That's a two shot. So, um, we want to auto creation by now, don't we? For one metal, you do 30 more damage for the rest of the game. Attach on level water, though. And then you do take extra prizes. So we stomp the non-GX decks. And we can upgrade nicely on uh, GX and V decks by taking three prizes. On stuff like Dene and Eldegrass. So. so yeah, we play four ADPs. And that's it. That's it. Let's get to supporters. So, because that's all the Pokemon we're winning. We can obviously get access to greens. As I say, I love greens. That you search your deck for two trainer cards. Put them into your hand. Provided you've got no ability. If you don't. So, that's going to give us ultimate utility. And grab whatever we want. Pretty much at any time. Uh, we play two Marilana because we don't really we need to take it as hard as possible. What they have to do is take two knockouts to win the game. Um, so we're gonna make that as hard as we can for them. Marilana lets us do that. Obviously, lets us heal 120 damage from our active and switch it to the bench. Uh, so once you've set up one ultimate ray and you've got a bench ADP rating to go. You can just mail on into the next one, you know what I mean? So you can get a little bit of a loop going there. Also, if we've took a bit of damage uh, just after um, GX him, we can do mail on a switch and then get back into ultimate ray, okay? It's sort of really vital that we keep that first ADP alive. If we don't get to ultimate ray, we just lose. So, uh, three Marnie, just because we want to have a, f a, f a few more uh, supporters that lets you see cards. Um, after playing some games, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't uh, go against changing some of these Marnies to more coach trainers. Just to let you see more cards, because drawing four is quite good. Obviously, um, coat train this is just always a flat draw four in this deck, because your active Pokemon is always going to be a tag team. So yeah, there's that. One Cynthia Caitlin. Just so if you've got a dead hand, at least we're always drawing three cards. But then we can also get back a Greens, which is nice. Or we'll get back Malolana if we need to. You know, anything like get back your off supporters, which is always cool. Let's get to the tools since we're here. Two Island Challenge amulets. So. Like I said, uh, they only want to take two KOs to win. Okay. Um, Island Challenge Amulet actually lets you stop that from happening. So, interesting card. This can only be attached to EX or GX. Well, I mean, it only has effect when attached to an EX or GX. That Pokemon takes 100 less HP to be knocked out. But then they take one uh, fewer prize card um, when it gets knocked out by damage. So now we can force them to take three knockouts. Granted, the, whatever ADP this is attached to um, has 100 less health, so they've only got, what, 180. But they didn't give up two prizes, and that could be all the difference. So yeah, we play what, two ch Island Challenge Amulet, and then one Big Charm as well, because Big Charm is silly, Billy. <laughs> Let's you get our reach to, like, ADP. Um, not ADP. Um, Zation, ADP Zation. And let you get out of reach of Big Bombs as well. So that's our supporters. Let's get on to the trainers. We're going to have a lot of them. Uh, two power plants just, just to stop the Dene's and stuff. I just stop them setting up, really. I mean, obviously, we do like to go to Dene hunting with this deck. But, you know, if we just stop them setting up, or at least delay it, it's always fun. One Kartic Swell, 
just so we can stop them having their support uh, their stage. You know, if we're against like a uh, peak on deck, for example, we can just greens out this swell straight away and be like, what? You're getting a thunder mine today, baby. <laughs> Uh, two reset stamps, so after they take that first KO, you can just be like, right, shuffle all that, get get back in, get back into a free card hand. We will take a big swing KO and say, right, let's race, baby. I like two stamps in here for sure. Four custom catches. One of the reasons why I love green sets is being able to just summon Gus whenever you want it, um, and four custom catches is uh, one of the ways you can do that. Two energy spinner. Uh, we, we have to see energy turn one. Okay, we already played 12. Uh, but now we're playing an effective 14 with two energy spinners. Obviously, if we're going second, which we should choose to do, uh, we get full value there, which is nice. Let's, let's pick out both colours that we need. Uh, we then play one great catch. Also, this is basically the Dene Hunter. <laughs> is what this is. Or Pekorom. You know, uh, Pekorom play a lot of stuff that we can carry as well. So against Pekorom, we can get good value out of the great catcher as well. But it's mostly a Dene Hunter. Four Poker Gear, just so we can see those greens as much as possible. Um, not against that. Uh, one Tool Scrap, because we can greens it out. Take away stuff like Lucky Eggs off Blounds. Uh, we can take Spell Tags off stuff. You know, we can take Giant Bombs potentially if like that. You need to build uh, Dragapult and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, Tool Scrap is kind of cool. Four Super Scooper. Now, like I said, we're a big uh, spongy Pokemon. Um, that they only have to really carry twice. So we need to do everything in our power to stop them doing that, right? So once we've got our first Ultimate Ray off, we're going to have another backup attacker. And the beautiful thing about ADP in that regard is... As long as you keep Ultimate Red, you're never ever going to run out of attackers, which is cool. So with Scoop Up, you've taken damage, Scoop them up, promote the next one, bench him again, uh, and then Ultimate Ray again. Um, so that's why Super Scoop Up comes in pretty clutch. Uh, one switch, you can make that too, I wouldn't mind it. Um, this is so we just, you know, if we've taken damage after we've, uh, just before we've GX, like I said, you can Malalana switch into the next one. Also good if they try and boss us or to trap us. But realistically, we shouldn't we ever let that be a, an issue because... Um, we shouldn't really have an ADP down about free energy if that makes sense. Um, like for the most of the game, I just have one ADP out until I can all my rage to stop that from happening. But you know, it's always nice to have. You never know when it will come in handy. Free tackle because tackle are basically like your ball search in this deck as well. We don't need to play that many just because we can greens it out. Uh, and we never really more than realistically two ADP in a game. Uh, this also lets us find our tag team supporters, which is always fun. Wait and see hammer. Very good. Always very good. You can greens this out now. Um, so if we're going second like we want to do and if they've attached energy just left it there So I get stuff like Dragapult you can really throw them back if they're not playing Malamar version You'd be like alright you're not getting Max Phantom next turn you're getting a you're getting a shred at best buddy so, um, Yeah so that's cool uh, and then four crushing hammers just so we can be a bit more of a hindrance as well um, I actually quite like this deck uh, It minces Dragapult because Marilano just says like what is a Max Phantom <laughs> Um, decent peak on and stuff as well because uh, of all the denes and that as well so yeah it's actually really fun like i said i love green stacks i love adp put them together um, and we get something fun all right should we get to the games yeah sound good all right so you actually i'm actually in postcom because um i was actually watching my friend's stream at the time but i wanted to get some reps under my belt with uh, this deck called ADP, and I thought I still record though, just in case I had some really interesting games, which I did, I had some fun games. So let's have a look. So, looks like we need an ADP, which is nice. We miss energy though, which is insane because you know, that's all we really want in this life of sin is me and my ADP and my energy. That's all we really need, really. But we missed that. But um, apart from that, we haven't got greens either. That's two things you really want it's just a nice turn one greens, um, energy, um, and play against Mali. By the looks of it. Okay, so Mali's interesting. Because <laughs> um, they obviously they have access to Clear Vision GX, which for a deck like this is absolutely a death sentence. Like, um, Clear Vision is a death sentence already for any sort of ADP Zation deck, just because you turn off auto creation, they just put you in a Giratina cycle, right? But um, for this, we haven't even got any alternate attackers. So we're stuck doing 3 for 150 now. Um, so you can't even like reach over the top or anything. So we can't even one shot that Latios. If they stop us with um, Ultimate Creation. So I was a bit scared of that at this time. <laughs> I did see that he quick ball away and an evolution instant. So that made me think, right, this, this isn't like a, you know, a by the book Mali list if they're playing um, that. And then he quick balls out of Type Null. And I was like, okay. Um, that made me think it's probably the, uh, the disc reload one. The one that lets you drop to five. Which, in all fairness, I don't think it's actually a terrible addition to Mali, in all honesty. Um, then he plays with cheating to his Jirachi, which is fair enough. Interesting that you play Jirachi and Silvalier. I assume you probably want to go down one or the other route. 
But um, hey, if that's what he wants to do, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna stop him. <laughs> so, but he's still a rich. He actually has to get rid of a horror energy as well, which is kind of nice. Horror energy could be quite annoying. Uh, let's have a look. So, he gives himself a quick ball. Uh, let's see if he plays that quick ball. I can't remember. At this time, I'm just thinking, I hope we top deck energy. Four greens. Uh, hey, hey, not bad. So, um, greens is nice. Normally, you'd probably, if you're going second, you want to try and greens out that wait and see hammer. Which is there. When I'm actually thinking, wait, he hasn't got any energy in place. There's no point in that. <laughs> so, I'm just thinking out what to grab. I think one is always going to be an energy spinner. We actually get full value from that. Um, and I'm trying to think maybe Big Charm, Big Charm seems good. Um, I'm still trying to play around the potential Latios at this time, I'm not really sure what to get. Probably like a second greens, I don't know what hand is, second greens aren't too bad. Or oh, a tag call yet to get another ADP, that seems fine. Yeah, that seems okay. Uh, that takes cards out of deck, maybe grab a Cynthia and Caitlyn as well so we can greens a turn after that if we need to. I don't think there's any point in grabbing Manolana here because chances of them doing an attack that does any you know, big chunk of damage is kind of low. So here we go, we get enough energy, uh, we can attach that, uh, and then we put the power pack in play as well just in case that quick ball was going to try and grab the Dene, um, and it also stops that uh, disc reload as well, which is kind of nice, so we might be able to catch him with a dead hand, he has access to Jirachi in the active though, so probably not, but um, got to play two routes, so you never know, like, you sort of lock them up, one in three games, they might just dead you and you in, so you have to play to those percentages, I know I do, so... <laughs> And then if he gets rid of power plant, then hopefully we can lock in our swell. Um, or at least deny him any stage that he's playing. Which is nice as well. So, uh, there's the quick ball. Let's see if... Well, obviously it's can't be for the Dene now. But uh, <laughs> see what he gets. Maybe second Inke. Uh, first second Inke. Or maybe Latios now, to be fair. If that's what he's going to go down. Because, funnily enough, power plant actually turns off that Latios ability. So that would actually be disastrous. So you could argue that's actually a misplay. But um, by my part... But he grabs a Wobbuffet V. Um, and at face value, I was quite happy to see that. I was like, oh, okay, that's not a lot. Yes, that's fine. But then actually thinking about it, um, we can't play around Gritty Comeback. Oh, he can still play. Yeah, we can't play around Gritty Comeback, the one that swaps damage counters, because we already have as a maximum hit 180. So we're always going to take 180 back, which is a bit annoying. But um, And then he, then he fills his bench. I'm thinking, right, so there's no Latios. That's great, there's no threat of a Latios this game. Dragapult, um, we're fine to deal with. We've got Malolanas, so you know their max factor does 10 damage to our active, so we're fine with that. Um, so yeah, going back to the Wobbuffet V though, we probably have to like, just um, catch her around it, which is all fairness. I mean, we've got the access to the one Great Catcher. Great Catcher will always find the Sil Valley uh, when it evolves. And, you know, taking two poisons on Malamars and potentially four poisons on the Dragapult. I mean, we probably don't even want to hit into the Dragapult at this point. I'd, my prize mapping right now is probably thinking, what, KO, KO that Sil Valley, two hit that, and then what, to hit into a Mali and a Jirachi or something. Because, I mean, I guess if he wants to throw up the Dragapult V match, we can hit into that. I mean, it's not, it's not like I said, it, we're not scared of, we're not scared of Dragapult at all. And there's the path, okay. So he attaches to Warfare, so it looks like that is what he wants to do. He wants to try and lure us into the uh, gritty combat trap. But that's fine, like I said, we have plenty of ways around it. And I, I know what Warfare does, he isn't going to try and surprise me. Like, I know what it does, you know what I mean? I know every card in format, baby. Every card. Ask me a question, any card, I'll get it. <laughs> uh, let's get a Sympathy and Caitlyn here to get back the uh, greens. That seems sensible. Probably getting rid of what reset stamp. It doesn't look like he's. Um, Taking any fives anytime soon. Probably want to hold on to the tool scrapper in case uh, a skateboard comes down pat you actually we can just lock that up. Um, and as his board is now, I can't see him getting close to a knockout. There's probably no reason to finish that uh, ADP, see if I do it anyway. I mean we have got a switch in hand. But um, yeah, I don't think I have to. Yeah, that's what I said. I don't think I have to. It just gives him a Guzman target. And um, but I'm just saying deal with this ADP. We've got Malolana in hand as well, so you know, we've got Malolana switch. And we've got a third energy, so we can just erase any damage that he does to us. Um, and then we're going to go into an ultimate ray. And once you get two uh, ADPs up, the ultimate ray, uh, you've got so much options then. Cause you've got the Malolana switch combo, you've got Super Scoop up even. You know, you've got plenty of options at that point. Uh, it's just getting to that point. When you get to that point, you're fine. But um, but yeah, there's Malolana. And then, and I appreciate how good of a Malo, how good of a card Malolana is. After playing with it, I'm like, oh my god, like in a in a deck like this, it's insane. Like, 
So let's see what he's doing here then. So I'm just looking at the Wobber Threat. Didn't even realise that Shadow Brian was an option. So 70 and stop some uh, Corporal Treative. Which is um, a bit annoying, but that also means if he wants to attack with that, that means he's taking 70 back after the discreet comeback. So let's say he does the um, he does Shadow Bind, we do Ultimate Ray, he does Gritty Comeback, he now has 70. So that means we can carry him then with the Ultimate Ray, uh, following Ultimate Ray. So an ideal scenario now would probably be he hits into us with Shadow Bind, we will Malolana switch um, Ultimate Ray into that. Lily's full force, why well, don't you that every day? That's what, draw four, and then he has to discard until he has like three, three cards in hand. So that's going to be a lot. Although I guess with um, with his disc reload, okay, I see what kind of deck engine he's got. He just disc reloads up, maybe gets to have energy that, so he can recharge him. Okay. Lily's full force engine. I might have to look into that. That sounds quite fun. That sounds all right. I'm a fan. Like Lily's full force gramble maybe because you're gonna have that hand at the end of the turn anyway, so it's like a flat draw four. Hmm, interesting, right? Anyway, so he set us with the uh shadow mine. Now I'm thinking we can potentially great capture that uh Silver Valley, that seems fine as well because you only got a two card hand now. I mean, granted, he's got uh access to um Silver Valley, but uh, I'm not sure what his switch can is. I'm not sure if we see any of them, I don't think we have. But I still like that play, because like we said, we just go three prizes into Silver Valley, and then we can just mess about kill the Wobber Fett. That's probably our ideal prize map now, but since he wants to, since he's thrown up this Wobber Fett, we might as well do it. I mean, like I said, we have the options. We have the tools in our belt to be able to kill it, so we might as well just uh, get rid of it. So, probably getting rid of what? Uh, ADP Tool Scrapper? That's probably what I'd get rid of. Let's have a look. Tool Scrapper's for definite. We don't want to get rid of Custom. We don't want to get rid of, yeah, ADP. That seems sensible. Uh, and then we ultimate range to this. That's going to be th uh, three prizes now. Um, if it stays in the act, if it's insane. And like I said, then we hold on to my Lana. So we can get around that Wobbuffet if we need to. So, yeah. Feeling quite confident now in that situation. As long as we've got, as long as we've got, hold, as long as we've got access to greens, like you can pretty much do anything you want to do with this deck, which is super nice. That's why I love greens decks. Being able to just summon what you need at the time, any time is great. Uh, a little bit punished now that mine is a thing, not going to lie, but... Um, that's what it is. So, three cards in hand. He attaches to Dragapult. And like, if he wants to go on a Dragapult route, that's also fine. Like, we have we have ways to deal with that as well. Like I said, Madalano in this matchup is going to be insane. Just because, like, max Phantom for 10 on your VMAX. Hello. Like, <laughs> I mean, Gant here is getting a 50 snap on the bench, I guess. But um, even so, if you if that was to be red on a card, uh, so for two energy on your VMAX, you do 10 to the active and 50 to the bench. You're not playing now, are you? So two energies so. there. There's the Marnie though. Okay, so Marnie's out of the Marilana, which is annoying. I know we've got one in the discard pile now, and we've used our Cynthia Kate already, I believe. We do get Super Scoop up. Don't really want to play that though. Although I guess you can always Super Scoop up Ultimate Ray and back onto the bench one, that's fine. There's an escape board onto Dragon Bolt. What? A, why? Why would you not put that into Jirachi? Unless he's going to just planning on take um, Tanky and Ultimate Ray hit. And then just retreat it into his next Pokemon, I guess. I'm not sure. I mean, I think that... I mean, he saw us get a Tool Scrapper, so we know that that Escape Wall is going to be a lot. It's going to stick. So I'd probably want to put that um, on Jirachi if I was him. But, you know. Especially since we're taking away his um, Disc Reload Silver Valley here. So, play the Greens. I'm not sure what we're looking for here. Hammer, potentially. Uh, tag Pool. What does Tag Pool get us in this situation? Oh, I'm thinking we can... Um, we're going to ultimate rain, get a third ADP, so up, okay. I think that might be what I'm going for. Maybe we should have some deck loads, to be fair. Get the mail on, that's fine. Yeah, since he's... Yeah, no, that makes sense. It looks like we're going to just... If he, if he wants to throw up the... Um, okay, he requires ADP. I had a feeling that was the case. Yeah, so he requires one. So, yeah, it was ultimate Ray, Take three prizes. And then that Malolana is just going to completely heal off that Dragon Ball. Uh, that Max Phantom, so... And at that point, we can just afford to two hit that dragon pole. We've got a greens in hand. No. Okay, I was say we could just try and capture it back. But um, at this point, I'm not really worried. Like wherever we pose up, we have we have options to deal with. So, oh, well, that Wobber Fett is annoying. We actually haven't, we actually haven't got anywhere getting around that <laughs> at this moment. So I've got one greens in the bib. 
Um, we've used two Pokey Gears. Obviously, greens for Custom Catch would be the ideal scenario here. Is that an Aurora? Interesting. I wonder what, I wonder what Off Attack is used for. Oh, Aurora for the... The, um... The Quasma. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh and whole energy works for the Quasma. Yeah, maybe I should do post Quasma more often. This is stuff I don't even realize when I'm playing. <laughs> when I haven't got to actually worry about playing, I can uh, analyze these decks a lot better. Huh? Okay, so. Let's have a look. <clears throat> so we get Big Child. We get Crushing Hammer. We'll probably want to take energy off Dragapult, but no, we don't get that. Okay. Take off the special energy. It's got two special energies on it anyway. So. Uh, let's have a big. I think it was at this point I just realised. Oh, hang on. If we ultimate rain to him and he just um, greet combat with his ultimate rain again. So um, yeah, he's in a pretty he's in a pretty tough spot now. He, he needs to attack with that Dragapult now this turn ideally. Of a two card hand, he needs to what, attack energy retreat or switch. Uh, or attacks a skateboard, but there's a third energy, so I assume that's probably what he's going for now. Which is nice. So now, if he is going to pay retreat though, that means we have win on board next turn. All we've got to do is just, um, I say it on board, but all we have to do is just uh, Gust Wobbuffet and then we win. Which is always fun, having um, one Gust away from winning, especially when you've got so many options and access to Gust in this deck as we do. So, retreats into Jirachi. I guess he's in a bit of a spot though, like whatever we hit now, we're going to be one attack off winning. Like if he goes Dragapult, we just attack again. Well, attack twice I should say. Oh, is he going to recharge onto Wobbuffet and then do the gritty combat? Grabs a research, that's nice. So maybe he's going to try and switch. I mean, you don't want to... I'm not really sure what he's, what, what he's, what he's trying to go for here. I mean, I guess he just get a Wobbuffet. He gets a Psychic in the bin now, which is but if he doesn't switch, we can your actual. But he gets to switch anyway, so you know, <laughs> fair enough. Maybe I have to be in there. So we're going to the Dragapult now. Okay, okay, okay. I like it, I like it. I say we've got the Marilana in hand. We've got Super Scooper if we need to. I think that's a bit risky though. But we had no reason to do Super Scooper, really. And we can put a big charm on the damage one as well. But there's the green, so I think green just finds Gust. And I think that is it, right? Yep, that's that. So there's yeah, called ADP, taking out Malamar. Uh, on paper, Malamar, you know, should be really uh, tricky. But um, we mint Dragapults. So. And actually, we've got so many options to get around. Right, uh, got a nice, fun game lined up for you that I actually live comp. So you'll see me later. I actually lied. Um, half of this game is uh, live comp because the person whose stream I was watching, he started streaming halfway through this game. So I thought I could whip up the cameras and we can um, get involved, as it were. So here I am, getting involved. So, didn't see what that, what they, it looks like he's playing the by the looks of it. So like, all you want now is an ADP, um, and an energy, really. Um, let's have a look. <clears throat> we Mulligan, we get, we only Mulligan once, which is nice. We only play four basics, so. Get Coach Trainer, which is nice. We get two energies, different colors. And he flips over Coffin. So, at this point I'm thinking, is it Galarian Reason? Or is it, um, you know, uh, what's that one called? Detention Gas Reason. Um, and by the time he attaches DC and Spell Tag, uh, it looks like it's going to be uh, Baby Reason or Psychic Reason. Now, on paper, um, this matchup should be fine. Uh, he's a spread deck. He's going to rely on us normally putting down multiple basic Pokemon. And we just have no reason to do that. We're a big spread damage counter sponge we've got 280 hp as it is you know we've got big charm available we've also got a uh, island charm amulet so if we need to we could just like if we've got no other option we need to maybe greens it out give up two prizes instead of three so we actually forced three uh tag team ko's in that respect um and i just won't go and let him do it let me tell you this one. uh as his hand stands now we need to do a lot more four cards in hand we got a GX available. Um, you can coach trainer or Marnie. Let's I'm going to Marnie, which is fine. I guess we see one extra card with that. We get a Greens, which is nice. We get a Malolana. Oh, I forgot about that. Malolana, hello. <laughs> um, so it looks like I'm debating whether to play a Poke Gear or not. Um, and I'm not, yeah. So like I said, 
Uh, ultimate Ray one shots all the Weezing as well, which is always good. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard for him. We're gonna make it hard. Give him credit though, he does find some sneaky plays to do. I'll give him that. So uh, he evolved to Bench Reason. At this point, I was thinking, what is he doing here? What is he doing? And I looked at Coffin. I was like, oh, I know what he's doing. He's gonna try and get the foul odor to delay our auto creation, which is fine. That's a that's a actually a really good play. <laughs> like, I was like, right. Uh, while it's an annoying play though, because obviously, you know, if we pit tell we don't do our GX, um, it's still not enough, unless we put like seven tails in a row, um, it's not something I'm terribly scared of, because he's not, well, that's a turn that he's not doing damage for a start, I started trying to get detention, gas and all that rubbish, but, um, but yeah, we have ways to get around that, we can afford to just, you know, flip, flip a couple tails, uh, Malolana, we've got Malolana switch available, so we can just like, bench another one, Malolana into it, uh, and then switch back into the other one, so, there's like the greens here, debate him to get uh, hammers here, to try and knock off his energies, but it looks like I'm going for, oh I haven't got energy, okay, so I'll go spinner, and I was thinking probably get swell, which is probably going to play shrine, um, so we can just lock that out, hopefully, that's the idea there, so we grab ourselves a metal, had to check which one I'd attach there, don't want to grab double water now, do we? <laughs> Alright, um, so yeah, uh, looks like we'll play the top bow gear, that's fine, we get ourselves greens, that's fine. Yeah, I think we always take greens here. Um, I mean, I definitely take greens, I don't know, I don't, I don't like the idea of mining, I like the idea of being able to just set ourselves up. And we pip tails. Not great, not great. <laughs> not the best, not the best, not the best. So. Back into our turn. No, their turn, I should say. So, But like, as it stands now, let's actually do a little damage count, right? His ideal turn now is what? Um, we're using Splattering Sludge. That's going to be 40. Plus Detention Gas. That's 50 damage a turn. His ideal turns. Is. Spell tags are, aren't, aren't as important now because normally he might get like 3 or 4 to pop in a game. Um, we can afford to only care well. We can take extra fire, so we don't care him as much. I've also got Tool Scrapper in our deck as well, so we can just ping those off. So, you know, when you're only doing 50 damage a turn, uh, it's definitely not feel struggle for him, that's for sure. There's the spell tag. Oh, looks like I'm coming up. Because, um, your thing's popped out there. I'll keep talking until I get there, and then, um, I'll leave you to it. But, uh, and there I go, dancing, there I am. You all right, so we play against Weezing. Um, so deck, I'm not really too scared of. All I have to do is just eventually flip heads with this sort of creation. We have no reason to do anything else at this moment in time. Um, what I do want to do though is line up a Malo Lana switch play. Are we play switch? Oh, okay. Um, uh, so what I might do off of this is. What's he got? They got Mew. What do we grab off this? Could grab Big Charm. Yeah, okay. How much health have we got left? 200, okay. Hopefully we get heads. Oh dear, so that's two tails we've got now. <sighs> Not really first though, let's say we just um, Malolana switch. And then we definitely get Jex. And then after that, you ain't got no foul odor anymore. Once we're taking two fours the turn, baby, that's, that's his game over. <laughs> Shrine, we can get rid of that. Yeah, I don't think he's doing enough. We're just not doing enough damage, and we can just go one or two ADPs for the whole game. We've also got Island Charm Amulet as well, just to like really rub it in. <laughs> okay, so we do this. Uh, we do this. Um, probably. Get rid of tag call stamp. 
because he ain't taking no KOs if I have anything to do with it. And switch. Uh, we'll take Green's Exploration. And let's see if we can actually scoop up. Yeah. Take that back. There we go. And that's all we gotta do. That's all we gotta do. <laughs> So, yeah, we've still got a lot of HP as well. I've got the big charm, which is nice. <clears throat> we'll have to do the trial. Hopefully, we haven't prized Spinner. We've used one already, right? Yeah, hopefully, we haven't prized our second one. Because uh, that'd be quite scary. <laughs> <clears throat> what other stuff you got in here? Tyro. Flapples. Interesting. Two triple accelerations. I'm not sure what he's digging for here, but. I think we have got a lot of healing now. We've still got another Malo Lana. Have we got rid of Simblin yet? Maybe we should have kept Tag Call just so we could use that Simblin. There's a Splattering Sludge, 40. 50, 60. It's got 180 left. That's yeah, fine. Let's simply get K then. No. Alright, Spinner. Yeah. That's rough. So we're really dragging game out now aren't we? yeah that's I had a feeling that would happen you know but I just have a feeling you just have a feeling sometimes yeah we need to see cards um, have we discarded any energy no. typical energy you see one two three I haven't got many energy left. Potentially tall scrapper. We can use Cynthia Caitlin next turn to draw some cards. I'll do that. Get rid of that shrine. <clears throat> All we have to do is just get one ultimate right off. I think with this ADP we should be fine. What's just next top deck being energy? Just to really annoy me. <laughs> Fair that second spinner wasn't for us. I had a feel you, know, you just have a fear you think TCJ is gonna screw me today. And there it was. To be fair, we could play a third spinner with a spattery sludge, you know, splattering sludge. 110. Let's play this gear. Okay, we'll take Malolana for sure. Although we can, we got Malolana in discard already, right? Yeah. So what? Let's actually go with a tool scrapper. Energy. Hey. Now we're off to the races, hopefully. <clears throat> Next turn we can just Malo Lana. Heal. Puts 40 on actors. We've got 70 left. Can you do 70 in a turn? Can you do 70 in a turn? 60. No, yeah, it comes close. He finds shrine, he actually does, right? 40, 50, 60. More if he evolves out, I guess. Which you can't do this turn, though. <clears throat> So yeah, I don't think he can actually carry this this turn, right? <clears throat> and Fire and Sludge. Nice turn off. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll get rid of... What, tag call, wait and see. Heads. KO, and now all we got to do now is just um, Q 
here, wherever he puts in the active. And that's ADP for you, baby. <laughs> that's what you gotta do. <laughs> He's gonna try and carry one on the bench. No way, you can't. No way. Got 90 health left. 80 health left. How can. Can you do it? There's 20 to open on. Yeah. No, I don't think you can. Not without. No, you can't. Not with only one apple, anyway. Or flapple, I should say. Dude was what? 20. We're down to 60. Then we take 10 for detention gas. 50. And then. No, so. We're gonna six seven basically. That's with us RC farting about as well. <laughs> and it's just it's games like this that show. Is he gonna go for the um another fire order maybe? Um, it's just so why spread decks can never truly. I don't think spread can ever be like madly competitive. And it's just for this reason. Like he did everything he had, he he needed to do right. He had all his, he had all his copies, all his reasons. And it just simply doesn't matter. <laughs> like, <laughs> maybe it's a testament that ADP is taking extra prizes. I'm not sure. But, um, but yeah. We can actually just pay retreat out of this file loader as well. So, this is an exercise in futility, unfortunately, this one. Highland Charm, it would have been kind of cool as well. If we really had no other choice. At least when you give up two prizes instead of three, then. Let's double reason back. Does he not realize we can just pay retreat if he's just gonna power loader? I mean, we can flex on him and show we had the other Milo Lana, but. <laughs> but uh, that might be mean, but you know. <laughs> actually, we haven't got one way to get rid of special conditions. That's actually kind of true. But it doesn't matter to us. Let me just do this. Here we go, just attack three times, so you gotta do. Here we go. Does he KO this? <laughs> he still doesn't KO this. Oh, poor geezer. 6 Owen people with quad ADP. Never would have thought that. There we go. Right, that's quad ADP. Um, I love... Um, I love Green's decks, always have. Um, it's just one of the best green decks out there at the minute. Probably not. Uh, it's interesting knowing it's fun. And hey, I just got myself a uh, tournament ticket. That's going to be really good for the... Um, League Cup thing, alright, the, the Pokemon Qualifying Cup. But yeah, that's Quad ADP. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Guys, if you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. Love that. Just hit a like button if you made it this far for me. Um, if you do enjoy it, you're not actually currently subscribed. I put a new TCG video out every day. Deck profiles, pack openings, vlogs, tournament reports, all that good stuff. Um, if you're after TCG codes or singles in the UK, make sure you check out JGC Collectibles. Link down below. Discount code SLOWPOKE5 for 5% off. And if, and if you want to make sure you know all your PTCG card values online, make sure you go to PTCGO Stocks. But they've got a nice spreadsheet that tells you all the card values and it's updated all the time okay thanks for watching